Three, two. What are you doing? I'm dancing. Three, two, one. We can dance. We can dance. Everybody, look at your hands. And here we go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Samurai. I'm Geneva. I'm Zara. So we are about to watch the Crowdwork Special by Andrew Schultz. Woo! We've been recommended this one. Yeah, it's we've been recommended a lot, of course. But Andrew Schultz is, of course, one of our new favorite comedians. Woo! The channel's oh, favorite comedian. Oh my yeah. God. If you haven't checked that, uh, it out, we've also done like other of his bits, and we've also did that special, that infamous special as well. Which might be so one of my good. top very favorite specials I've ever seen. Yeah, so the crowd work special, I'm sure he's gonna pick on the crowd, yeah? Oh boy. Yeah. We've seen a few different compilations where he does pick on crowds, so I'm assuming we might come across the same one, you know? Yes. But still, hilarious. Yeah? Yeah, we ready? Yeah. I'm so ready. Yeah. So if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, also hit that notification bell. All right, let's do this. And here we go. All right, let's do a little intro for the vlog. Aww. Ready? Vlog. Aww. What's up, everybody? Schulte here. We're in Washington, D.C., home of the infamous D.C. <laughs> improv about oh, Come on! Stress. My bad, my bad. Yo, Chappelle's dropping a special. <sighs> Where? Yeah, next week. That's dope, man. Son, just drop a special. <laughs> you want me to drop a special, <laughs> yeah. too? Just drop a special same day as Chappelle. Oh, uh, yeah? You remember, like, that 50 Kanye thing? <laughs> yeah, I remember. You're crazy, man. You realize we still got tour dates to do, man. I can't release that material. Then what am I going to do on tour? Do the freestyle shit. Oh, me just do crowd work for a whole special. I don't know crowd work. What? What? Is that shit you do off the top of your dome. Just do that shit. Okay. So, so uh, this just one drops sitting? a special with these beautifully crafted bits, and then I the same day drop a special where I just wing it. Too scared. Wow. Hold on. I gotta go on. Uh, so you gonna do it? We'll see. Let me feel him out. <laughs> oh. Wow. Why do I just love him? Like. Why do I feel so attracted to him? <laughs> like his personality. <laughs> Uncensored. Hey, oh, unfiltered. unfiltered. Oh. Unsafe. Uh oh. Is it YouTube safe? <laughs> <laughs> Unscripted. I've never seen him in this outfit on any other compilation. I Here we go. <laughs> but we have seen him in DC before. You guys want me to make fun of front row so bad? I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. It's like somebody put it together. This is a very diverse yeah, front row. This is amazing. Like even you by yourself seem like too many races. I don't. You look like half Asian, half Brendan Daisy from Making a Murderer. Oh, that's the nephew, I think. <laughs> you remember the retard kid in Making a Murderer? <laughs> Why do you look like that kid? <laughs> Did you kill the lady? <laughs> Ice cream! <laughs> Ice cream! But you're not, you're not all white. Are you all white? No. No, you got another thing in you. <laughs> you got Korean, you're white. It, did you hear what he just said? <laughs> that was the wildest comeback I ever heard from all Bro, I go, <laughs> I go, you're not all white, you got another thing in you. And he goes, you, you if I'm lucky. <laughs> oh. Like, <laughs> like his, <laughs> I have to come back. Oh. His brain malfunction, like... <laughs> like when you burn somebody back and forth, usually the burn is directed back at me. <laughs> but he was so excited to get roasted, he roasted himself too. He's like, he's like, we're both doing it, right? We're both making fun of me, right? You might be that retard from that fucking shop. You're half white and then the other half is what? Korean. Korean. You might be the dumbest Korean I ever met. Oh. 
other Asians in the audience like, let me smoke bomb out of here. I'm embarrassed, bro. I can't be around this motherfucker holding us down. Korean, that's a solid Asian, man. That's a solid Asian. I like those Koreans, man. Koreans, y'all took that breakdancing shit from the blacks, bro. You fucking snatched that shit away real quick. Right? You guys are good. You guys are real good. Do all them spins and shit, right? Black people, you see how fast you can spin if your dicks weren't weighing you down all that fuck? <laughs> Black people were doing helicopters and wouldn't get off the ground because that dick was just rocking you on the concrete like an anchor. These Asians start spinning and just <laughs> lifting up in the air like they are dragons. <laughs> See, we, whoa, who snored? Oh, no, whoa, no, 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 no. Did you guys just hear that? That was a full snort, sweetheart? Dude, women, y'all gotta figure that shit out, man. Only women snort when they laugh. Women really got no control to air in their body, man. Like, no control. You ever, like, fucking a girl and you pull out and it's like, <laughs> they, they get all embarrassed and shit. They try to like close their legs, like to stop it. They're like, what is that? <laughs> the pressure just makes more come out. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Oh my god. Don't be. We love that shit. That's feedback. In, my, in our minds, that's the pussy giving up. That's the pussy going. Wave the flag, it's too much dick. It's too much dick. Last thing you wanna do is pull out a pussy and the pussy just looks at you like, that's it, that's all you got? That's it? You're just gonna enter a little bit, huh? What is that, a birthday candle? No, I need you to go the whole way. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll get lightheaded with this guy. <laughs> Crazy ass fucking DC. You gonna snort the whole time, huh? <laughs> What's happening in your brain, right? Like, I, I never understand that. Like, that means you're ignoring your brain. Cause your brain is like, Rebecca, you need to breathe. <laughs> What'd you say? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Hold on. Oh you thought, I really thought that was your name? <laughs> I just thought you were white enough to be named Rebecca. <laughs> Listen, you're Rebecca, that's Jamal. Oh. That's Rajiv. <laughs> and that's Brendan Dacey. I don't know really exactly what your name is. It's just what it is. Back to your breathing. Because this is a real issue. Because what happens is you're laughing and then your brain starts going, hey, Hey, Rebecca, you should take a breath because that's necessary for life. So you should probably breathe. And you're just like, <laughs> and your brain's like, nah, sit, you need to breathe. Like, you need a fucking breath. All right, fuck it. That's what you get. That's, that's what you get. You want to look stupid in front of everybody? You gonna look stupid in front of everybody if you don't trust us. That's what happens. Thank you, Rajiv. Oh. I don't even know if you're Indian. I assume you're Indian. All right, what type of Indian? I am Punjabi. Punjabi? Are you Woo. sick? Yeah, I'm sick. You're sick. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Fuck with six, man. 
Those are the dudes that wear the turban and shit. And they got that bracelet, that little silver bracelet. That's a badass bracelet. No, for real, because back in the day, that used to be a sheath that would protect them from swords because the Sikhs were the warrior class of people in India. And then over the years, you know, the meaning has changed. Now it's used to rest on the steering wheel of an Uber, but. (laughs) (laughs) Son, if they got that bracelet locked on that steering wheel and all, they ain't never crashing, dude, never (laughs) crashing. You let Vishnu take the wheel, dog. <laughs> now that's Hindu, ain't it? That's Hindu. <laughs> Crazy, man. Crazy. You okay? You got your arms behind it. You you kidnapped? Like, oh, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> She had the whole show with her arms behind her. It's like, you on your way to Epstein's Island, bro. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you too old for that. Look. Oh. It's a fucking scary time, don't you think, miss? That's a powerful blazer right there. I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> white lady with a blazer? She got opinions, bro. I don't want to. <laughs> How many times today did you say toxic? <laughs> <laughs> you said that shit more than a Britney Spears concert. <laughs> What'd you think about this whole Epstein situation, blazer? I know, he had a, not a breeding ranch, he had like a, like a sex dungeon on an island. Yeah, that's crazy. No, no horses on the island. <laughs> there was a lot of reverse cowgirl. <laughs> okay, so for those of y'all who don't know, Jeffrey Epstein, right? He was this like creep pedophile motherfucker and he had an island in the Bahamas, right? Where he would take girls that were underage and create quite possibly the wildest episodes of Naked and Afraid that... seen. I mean, it was crazy out there, bro. (laughs) Sexual slavery. Sexual slavery. I know, I know it seems too soon. I know it seems too soon. I know, you have to understand, you might not be familiar with my work, miss. (laughs) But when everybody in the world feels one way about something, it's kind of my job to be like, but when you think about it. (laughs) So, it is so cool. That being said, guys, I have to admit, I've had a very troubling week. Because we're dealing with a very serious situation here, you know? Trying to find light in the darkness. I mean, I had a very tough week. Obviously not as tough as Epstein, but I feel like it was right below that. It was right. It's like, how do we make sexual slavery funny? It's not a funny thing. But when you think about it. <laughs> you gotta admit, by far the best form of slavery, right? Like, I mean, if you had to pick, right? 
if there was a wheel with all the slaveries on it and you spun that wheel, you'd be like, suck dick, please! <laughs> suck dick, please! No cotton! No cotton! Oh. No cotton! Oh. Send me to the island, not the field! Oh. It's crazy though, because it reminds me of that story in Cleveland. Do you guys remember when those girls were kidnapped in Cleveland and put in that sex dungeon? Yeah. I remember that story. And I remember thinking the most fucked up part of that whole story was that when they freed those girls finally after all those years, they were in Cleveland. <laughs> Right? They walked out that dungeon like... <laughs> Fuck this shit, yo. I'm going, oh my God. I'm going back down. We had snacks back there. I... Jesus. Jesus, you said? Yes. Wait, do you just need to bring him into this for some reason? <laughs> or you need... What was that about? That was like a Christian Tourette's? Oh. <laughs> I gotta know what I'm dealing with for the rest of the show. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I could use a few God bless you. Uh, absolutely use forgiveness. But did you say Jesus cause you were like triggered by the conversation? No, I said Jesus. Jesus. Uh -oh. Bro, is that made in Cleveland? Oh, started in Cleveland? Bro. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought this bitch had a speech impediment, bro. I thought she was saying, Jesus! Not Jesus. But that's your sexual slavery snack of choice? <laughs> Let me tell you the last thing I want on my dick after a blowjob I paid for. <laughs> Like, hold on a second, what the fuck is this? I paid top dollar for this dick suck. I got goldfish on my dick? These girls are crazy, bro. Flagrant. Look at this beautiful black couples up front. Do you even know them? Are you girls single? Nah, you are, but you're not. What the fuck does this mean, bro? This is a hot girl summer, huh? What the fuck is this? That's the worst answer, right? You got herpes? What's herpes? I'm gonna have a hurt. I ain't got it. You can avoid it. Just come in at an angle, you avoid it. Put your thumb on it. You're not gonna get it if you just put your thumb on it. <laughs> you ever fucking a girl and you see one of her ingrown hairs, you're like, oh shit. What the fuck is that? You got. And then you realize you've still been pumping while she got a fucking whole herpy on her pussy. <laughs> Yes, we both got this. <laughs> so you're kinda in a relationship? What does that mean? What'd you say? You're not gonna explain to the crowd? The fuck you want? <laughs> you brought it up with this shit right here. I was just trying to get this city boy some pussy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me tell you something a faithful black man does not want to deal with. It's a trifling ass black woman.
<laughs> he said, preach! <laughs> Black men been faithful for about a month and already, <laughs> already they're not dealing with this cheating shit. How could you? Janiqua, how could you? You broke my heart! So well, how is it, does he, does, would he describe it as this too? So he moved. He moved where? If you say he's in the army, I'll kick you in your head right now. Oh. <laughs> he moved to Iraq, so what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Who's taking care of my needs while you taking care of the country's needs? <laughs> he moved to New York and you're still in DC. And, and you can't be faithful? <laughs> what, what didn't you say? This, this implies a lot. This right here, you hit it with a Michael J. Fox? Uh, Listen. No. No. <laughs> no Michael J. Fox look good. he's always doing salsa. So why don't you guys just break up? <laughs> you're trying to, you're kind of figure it out. Are you okay if he has sex with lots of women? You wouldn't want to know, but you're, you're not okay. Have, have you, have you had sex with anybody else since he left? Get on the spot. <laughs> You wouldn't lie to me, would you? Uh, <laughs> she said, oh, Jesus, you wouldn't lie. <laughs> she has been honest, though. So I kind of believe her. I was going to try to hook you up with the guy across from you. Seems like a nice man. Shut the fuck up. No! <laughs> Nobody asked you for your faggot ass compliments oh. and shit. Ooh. <laughs> I have a living girlfriend. I cannot do it. That's a roommate, motherfucker. That's not a girlfriend, dog. What happened to this world, man? What about you, bro? You single? Damn right. Match <laughs> <laughs> makeup. You like black guys? <laughs> No, no one ever asked black women that. Isn't that funny? If it's an Asian girl, it's like, you went to black guys? They're like, mm, yeah. <laughs> but you're allowed to not like or like, you know what I mean? What about black guys who like European sports? <laughs> you're not down with that soccer shit, huh? You like basketball. You like a little bit taller guys. You play ball? <laughs> Takes off his jersey, there's another jersey. <laughs> you like LeBron James? I can be LeBron James, it's not even a big deal. Let me roll the sleeves up, it's almost a basket. How tall are you, bro? Five nine, that's a rough. Girls are a little prejudiced. They're prejudiced. No, girls are very prejudiced when it comes to height. How tall are you? You're five eight? So he's taller, that's all that matters. You're cool with that, right? Guys, guys, I know him. 
Why are you hating, bro? <laughs> <laughs> we got hate over there, man. We're rooting for the fellas. Yeah. This guy's 5'9", okay? He's into soccer. <laughs> also into basketball. You're Nigerian? Are you? Was I supposed to know that? <laughs> I mean, if I guessed that shit, that would have been pretty racist, bro. Let's be honest. I just looked at the dark skinned black guy, Africa! Like that. <laughs> pretty fucked up. So I just let it go. Who knows? Atlanta. That's what I thought. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, I'm just kidding. He doesn't look gay. Look. <laughs> His friend, on the other hand. Ah! I never heard anything like that in my life, bro. I have a living girlfriend. <laughs> what the fuck is a living girlfriend? It's just a girlfriend, that's all it is. How long y'all been living together? Two years? And you haven't asked? You know, taking it slow. How old are you? 27, how old is she? 26, she put any pressure on you to get married? You just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> is that her right there? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure whatsoever? She white? <laughs> She's black? Black, Chinese, Jama oh, you need to balance that out a little bit. Because black people don't live that long, but Asians, poof. Them motherfuckers live forever, bro. They not going nowhere. Black, Chinese, and Jamaican. Why you said two black things? <laughs> Make no sense at all, right? I'm white and Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> this is a confusing ass guy, bro. <laughs> He's confusing a little bit, right? I know he is. That's funny, right? You guys are laughing at the same shit. That's so cute. <laughs> you guys got so much in common, yo. Isn't it crazy? Have you heard of Nigeria? You're Nigerian too? What? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh my god, they freed y'all? <laughs> them schoolgirls were taken, bro! Y'all don't remember? Now, are you... What is it? Igbo? Is that the tribe? There's like two main tribes in Nigeria. Yoruba, and then the other one is... What's it? Hausa. Yoruba and Hausa. Which one are you? What? Yoruba? Which one are you? <laughs> sound like you're a boo. That's what it sounds like. I see a love connection right here. Someone get a bone to put in their nose, guys. They're getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all realize we can only do this here anywhere else in the world. This is so fucked up. <laughs> fuck with DC. <sighs> What's up, baby? Yeah. How you doing, man? Good, man. How you doing? I'm chilling. I can't see you, but where are you from? I'm from uh, West Virginia, baby. West Virginia, baby. Part of the That's what's up. How's cousin pussy? <laughs> Why do they say y'all fuck your cousins? Cause y'all fuck them? That's wrong, man, that they say that. You know what I mean? I really feel he's fucked up. Because like, if I was, if I was from West Virginia, right? I'm not gonna fuck my cousin, yeah, right? She got no teeth, I'm gonna get hit. You know what I mean? Like, uh. <laughs> hey, Mary, 
Curtis, why don't you bring that mess mouse over here, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Brother needs his balls lit. <laughs> you know, I went to West Virginia. I filmed a, a movie out there. Because there's a part of West Virginia that's kind of close to Pittsburgh, right? Yeah. It's where that college is, University of West Virginia. Right, Morgantown. Morgantown is outside of Morgantown. <laughs> Someone called a Me Too in Morgan's house. <laughs> She's going through it. Did you see? I just said Morgantown. She was like, oh no. Why did I agree to beer pong? <laughs> did you go to school there, miss? Wait, oh, who am I talking to? You. Are you Asian? I can't see that well, but neither can you if you're Asian. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> it's just the both of us looking at each other like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that, but are you Asian? Because I can't tell. Latina, what are you? Latino. You're Latino. Yeah. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Latina, right? Listen, you could decide what you are these days. You know what I mean? I didn't know trainees made it south of the border, but. <laughs> Build those balls. <laughs> Y'all caught that a little bit late. Just like most of the dudes she hooks up with. <laughs> what the fuck are these? What the fuck is this? We send you in America for two months, you come back with balls and titties. <laughs> you meant to say Latina because you're a girl with a vagina. Right? Yeah, you don't got an answer for her. That's even more suspicious. I gotta tell you, the dude next to you is feeling one type of way right now. <laughs> you know what I mean, Asian guy? This guy's fucking awesome. I love this. I just fucking, the second I walked on stage, I need you every show, dude. He's just got a good face. He's got a good, is that your girlfriend? Is that, you guys, oh, it's your ex? Oh. Your ex-wife? You bought these tickets before the, the divorce? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We are ready to unpack some goods right now. Oh! Hold on, but you guys are cordial? What's going on? You just, do you have kids or anything? No? And that's why you guys broke up? Oh. Wow. You couldn't get her pregnant? <laughs> as potent as Asian sperm is, you could have knocked that up right there? Dude, Asian people be making babies, bro. You don't want any kids, miss? Why don't you want kids? Yeah, but you say that now. Stop it. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on one second. You really think this Mexican bitch don't want kids? Breastfeeding her pet chihuahua for the last three months. I just want to practice. I just want to practice. Come here, Cholula. Suck on these nipples, Cholula. You're a mom? And you're saying you don't want kids? If she doesn't want kids, fuck you. She got too excited. She didn't mean fuck you. She meant fuck anybody that tells you otherwise. If it's not for you, it's not for you. I never met a Mexican that hated their kids. You see, you love your kids, at least your son. Say what? I try to do that every time I show you. You must not know my bowel movements, lady. You don't get a hemorrhoid from shitting quick. 
But hold on, most confusing Mexican ever. Oh. Yo, that's how you, you're not Mexican? No. What kind are you? <laughs> you're Colombian? Damn. <laughs> how the fuck you get here? <laughs> you flew? You swam? <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> you didn't swim nowhere. <laughs> you hate swimming. That's why you won't let any sperm do it inside of you. <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> Make me a wet back. <laughs> hey, thank y'all so much, man. I love y'all. Have a good night. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't know if we could use. No. <laughs> are we able to use some of these contents on YouTube? That's the question. And that's how he started his first, the infamous show. Uh, his special. Remember you yeah. said that joke in the infamous Yeah, yes. the first infamous special with that oh. back. So I don't know what time, when this took place, but oh, holy shit. Oh my gosh. I always get lightheaded <laughs> when I watch him. Seriously, I always get lightheaded. We're all feel oh satisfied. Huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I really want to go to a show of his. Me too. Sit in the front row? Yes. <laughs> I want to sit in the yes. front. I want to sit on stage. I want to go so I want to sit in the front. Uh, so he made the girl in front of him feel uncomfortable, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she did. <laughs> but the she one, went with it. The one that got you was with the, the couple, the matchmaking. You oh, yeah. You're a boo. Do the bone? The <laughs> bone. I get a bone. I'm like, oh. I hit the owl to the floor. Uh, I'm just going to start laughing from seeing your face. Holy shit. This so, is so good. This is, um. It was good. Peak. Fabulous. Yes, this is gold. <sighs> I love this so much. 10 out of 10. Oh, shit. So Jesus. Much. I'm still taking it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Freak. <laughs> oh, well, we're I'm good. I'm still taking it. I love this so much. So that was the crowd work special by Andrew Schultz. King of crowd work. Yeah, king of crowd work so far. So if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Oh, I'm good. We can dance. We can dance. Everybody's taking the time.